The International Energy Agency has said that tackling climate change would be impossible if developing countries do not transition from fossil fuels like oil to clean energy. Speaking at the World Economic Forum held digitally this year, the IEA's Executive Director Fatih Birol called for massive growth in renewable energy investment, saying it needs to multiply by, quote, a factor of three. He said that almost all global emissions growth will come from developing countries in the next 30 years. Let's bring in NJ Ayuk, head of the African Energy Chamber. NJ, welcome to the program. First of all, you're a representative of the energy industry. How should climate action occur without hurting Africa's oil-dependent economies? Climate change is a big problem across the world and Africa um, in, in particular. It can occur without hurting African economies. That is, we have to factor in energy transition we, uh, by using gas. Look at the massive gas discoveries in Mozambique. You need as much as you want to finance renewables. You need to fast. You need to finance gas to fast track um, this transition. Look at Senegal. Look at Nigeria. So it is going for Africa. It's going to be gas-based transition because energy poverty is critical and industrialization is critical. So you don't you don't do this transition and finance and fin and finance it by cutting out everything on gas monetization like what countries like Germany has done without taking into consideration everyday people. Be that as it may, the view is that fossil fuels will be on the wane. What are Africa's oil-reliant economies going to do then? Africa's oil-reliant economies have to diversify. They have to embrace um, energy transition. They have to embrace renewables. They have to embrace all forms of energy. I mean, look at what is happening in Senegal. That is one of the countries where the president of Senegal, Macky Sall, has done an amazing job in building a really great energy mix. Look at what you, you're starting to see in other countries around Africa. Mm -hmm. So we have to embrace everything. We have to set out with the reality of the right. world that is, that is in front of us. But it has to be a transition. We, it has to be financed. Developing can, the developed can, world right. cannot just expect that Africa should do this by itself. It has to come in with big investment because mm -hmm. Africa didn't create the problem. Africa didn't create the problem. The problem was created by China, United States, and Europe. Africa cannot pay reparations for what mm -hmm. they did. So you have to help Africa to phase out from fossil fuels by using things like gas, that we have abundant gas in Africa right now, to All really right. do deal with the issue of two third of the of the continent without any kind of uh, of power. So energy poverty is big for us and industrialization. All right. So we work NJ Ayuk, well in her Thank you very much for your Thank insights. You so I'm afraid we're going to have to cut it there. Sorry to interrupt. He is the head of the African Energy Chamber. Thank you very much for your insights today.